Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily energy for Monday, July 2nd. This is for all signs. Picking up the pieces. Somebody is picking up the pieces after a loss. Oh. Um, standing up. I'm standing back up on my own two feet. We have the Page of Cups. There could be a message coming in, a message of love, something that's welcome and unexpected. This could be even something like, I mean, you could say that this is like Cupid, okay? You could say like this is Cupid that is bringing you a new opportunity for love, okay? Oh, okay. All right. Definitely. That's so funny because the lovers is kind of like a Cupid card as well. So uh, there is, I mean, this is, this is an ongoing theme apparently. Okay. The lovers is the third day now. So there probably is an unexpected offer of love. It's if it hasn't come yet, if you're single, it is absolutely coming. If, um, and this would not resonate with everybody because you have to be ready for it. You have to be wanting it. If you don't want it, then that's your free will, okay? So for somebody, there's a choice, okay? That is probably really, really welcome for many because the Page of Cups is, is a welcome message, okay? If you're in a relationship, there could be some kind of reconciliation that's coming, you know? Somebody wants to make this work if you're in a relationship. But there is probably a message of love. I, I really would like to um, extend my heart to you, something like that. Here we have the Empress, the Empress though, but it is, it is, or is it, it's the Strength card, but she's the Empress, she is the Empress, um, and that's why I said that. So this is uh, finding your strength, okay, finding your strength to, to face this, because this is the devil up here, to face adversity, you know, this is uh, sitting in silence. Okay, she's sitting in silence and she's just she's she knows that she has the power to to deal with this, but she's silently contemplating, you know, her options and she's probably presented with many. She probably is presented with many options. So she has to use her her own um ability to master her emotions, perhaps even through silence, to overcome some sort of manipulation even if it's inner manipulation okay this card is about not succumbing to temptations and being patient because the strength is is patience so maybe this is this is saying you know what yeah you've been through some difficult times but you've gained strength you've gained wisdom and now you're patiently waiting for this genuine offer you know it's like you've proven yourself interesting Oh, there's a major new beginning here. There's a completion of one cycle that leads to a new beginning, uh, something that could be long-term. Yet somebody has gained some sort of strength and wisdom through through suffering. They've learned. They've sub say they've taken the time to reflect. Um, 
and remove themselves from toxic situations because when I look at that devil it reminds me of a toxic situation so I think because they I, they've taken this time out to do whatever they got to do the the Cupid or the angels the angel of love which I think is, I think that's our archangel or archangel Raphael everybody says it different um, is is bringing in this new love that you're ready for if you are ready for it this this uh, world card is somebody's learned a big lesson and I can see that somebody has learned a big lesson and you know waiting a lot of patience here a lot of patience um, here we have the Queen of Cups Queen of Cups. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is the this is love. There's love. I believe that there is absolutely some love coming in, or love, or I'm ready for love. I'm ready for love because she's ready for love. She is. So I feel as though for those of you that are ready for you for love, there is an opportunity coming in that could lead to something long term because you ended one long term phase in your life. You found the strength. You learned something. Um, through silence and perhaps you know now something is happening very very unexpectedly um, your intuition has probably seen this coming I see that the, that the, that this is probably you knew this was going to happen sooner or later and it, it, it is coming it is coming um, this is a very peaceful time as well so I feel like today somebody has found some peace I have found some peace because she's very peaceful she's very um, calm and compassionate um, and they've and, and this can also signify healing she's she's allowed herself time to heal so for some of you your period of silence your period of being alone if you're single whatever the case is or contemplation has served you very well it has it's taught you something there has definitely been some sort of some sort of lesson that has been learned but it's completed now that that cycle has completed because the world cards the last card a major cycle in your life has completed and now you are being rewarded it looks like there's a reward here coming in um, <laughs> ten of cups wow okay so this leads to a lot of happiness in a relationship you know it's like pure bliss you are bliss. I believe there's a beautiful union on the horizon. I don't know who this is for, but this could lead to a, a solid relationship. It really could. Um, emotional fulfillment at its best, okay? Here we have the Emperor. No, it's the Four of Pentacles, but I believe that probably is the Emperor. Um, <laughs> The Four of Pentacles is about holding on. It's holding on to something. And that could even be a thought. It could be holding on to... Oh, we have the Seven of Wands. Your stance. Holding on to your stance. Yeah. Okay. Somebody has had to find their strength to be patient. You know, I really feel as though a lot of this reading is about self-worth, and I'm not sure. I really don't see a lot of self-worth cards, but that's what's coming to my head. I have to stand my ground. I have to stand up for myself. I have to... I have to do what's right for me. And it feels as though there's been some sort of resistance because this Four of Pentacles is resistance. This can also be obsession of some sort some sort of obsession obsession obsessed with finding the one because that you see they're right under it I'm obsessed with finding the one 
the one that's going to lead to ultimate happiness, even if it means that I have to take a time out for now, you know, and wait and wait. So I feel like somebody is, well, they've gained a lot of perspective through this period of waiting, which is really interesting. Oh, there's your perspective, the hermit card. Yes, yeah, somebody has taken a time out. They've taken a time out to be aware of what they want and focus on focus on where they want their future to be. You know, I feel like they've gained this new consciousness. It's like I'm not the same person. I know that, and now I have to come up with a new plan. There is a new consciousness here. Because the hermit is a Jesus consciousness where somebody takes a step back to focus on their inner being. And that's what it looks like to me. I feel like somebody has. And they're stepping out. Somebody is stepping out of their loneliness. There's a, it's like the end of loneliness. I'm ready. I'm ready for this new beginning. Interesting. Ooh. Yeah, somebody's been waiting. They've been waiting. Patiently waiting for something to happen. Just waiting and watching. I've been waiting and watching for this, this love to come in. I've been waiting for this emotional support from somebody or this relationship. It feels like somebody has invested a lot of time in making, making, manifesting this, okay? I've been manifesting this, this love, okay? I've been manifesting this new beginning. I've been working on it. I've been working on myself. I've been taking this, this time of silence and, and solitude to, to build for, to build my own future internally, you know? Let me just get this zoomed in. Um, sorry, camera's not very tight. I guess it's zoomed in as good as it's going to get. Either way, for somebody who's ready, somebody is ready. They've worked on themselves. They've, they've worked on manifesting. They've done their inner work. They've taken a time out. They've tried to um, remove themselves from temptation. They've been, there's been a lot of patience here. I'm patiently waiting. Um, obsessed with finding the one I'm obsessed with finding the right one for me and and with that obsession sometimes you know I many people say obsessions are bad but sometimes if you know what your self-worth is I mean it's kind of like it's not an obsession it's this is what I'm worth this is what I'm worth so I feel as though there is an opportunity a new opportunity coming in that is, is very welcome it's unexpected and it leads to a lot of happiness it's something that you knew was coming. You manifested it. So, I mean, it is. It's a beautiful reading because I feel as though somebody has, has stood up for themselves in their own way. I stood up for myself by not letting myself be manipulated, uh, tempted, uh, out of control I, I have stood up for myself by taking this time out okay so I feel like there's somebody has gained a lot of strength and now they know they now they know that the best thing to do is to wait 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 I'm gonna wait so I think this period of waiting because there is there's there's waiting here there is there's, there's been some solitude there's been some waiting and now your your period of waiting is is probably what was needed because a lesson has been learned. Maybe you needed to wait. Maybe that's the lesson you need to learn here. You need to wait. Divine timing is, is real. It's real. And some people need to learn that. So I feel like there is an opportunity that is coming in that leads to a lot of happiness for those of you that have waited, for those of you that can see your self-worth, you know, those of you that have stood up for yourself and taken this time out to become aware of of who you are and what you want and where you're going and you, you you know you take that time of solitude and you prove to the universe at that time that you matter I matter so I feel like you know investing in yourself 
has paid off. So I don't know who this is for. It will not resonate with everybody. But this self-love, because she is the queen of love, this self-love is paying off finally for somebody. So I'm not sure that who this is for, but it is for somebody. I am going to get one of these oracle cards. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It is. It's really good. I'm sorry if I'm talking low. My air conditioner is on. I'm in a very mellow mood. Um, this lover's, it could be a soulmate. This could be a soulmate. Okay. But I feel like this is, I, you know, I feel like for some, this is somebody new because somebody had to wait. I mean, this could be a reconciliation for those of you that are waiting. But for most of you, this is for people that have waited for quite some time. And so it could go either way. I mean, it really could go either way. There's been a period of really investing in myself, healing, um, and being patient. Patience. There should be a message coming in today, yesterday, tomorrow, that really opens your heart in some way. I feel like, and like I said, that lover's card, this is the third day in a row. This is the third day. This is, person is not your usual type, okay? I have to tell you, you have to look beyond the mask. Look beyond the exterior in the inside. Go beyond the exterior because this person is not your usual type. Okay, um, and you're probably gonna have to make a decision here, and the, and the decision could be in regards to maybe even your job. Okay, because this maybe you have to decide: do you want love? Do you have time for love? You know, are you are you too uh, buried in your work? Because maybe you've because maybe in this time of uh, solitude, you've focused on only your job. So you're focused on your finances and your career. And you notice he's not hanging on to any of these pentacles anymore. They're floating. In most other decks, he's holding on to a pentacle. So I think this is saying, you know, you're, you might have to let go of some of your obsessions, you know, perhaps even the money if you want to make love number one in your life, whatever the case is. I mean, that could certainly be a message for somebody. Um, and this this is also a card about resisting change. Are you ready for love? It's a message. It's a message. Are you ready for love? Are you ready to let it into your life? Are you really ready? <sighs> this can also signify stubbornness. Somebody has been stubbornly waiting. So I'm not sure who that's for, but... Diving for light. It's also an 11. Somebody has manifested this, a new offer of love. That is the way it is. That is what's going on. Remember, yesterday's reading was about darkness becomes light. And now look what we got. This is amazing. They're just playing right into each other. Day by day by day. Things are starting to fall into place. That's what's happening. Your patience, your perseverance, your newfound awareness is absolutely paying off there's a major new beginning here that uh, looks to be love we're going to read this card it's something that you have manifested how brave you are you are diving for light it can be so much simpler to seek light in the heavenly and that which is blissful sweet loving and kind to look for the light in what which is dark is an advanced task that only a rebellious and brave heart will attempt. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. You may not feel that you have taken such a journey by choice, yet you have taken this wise challenge. It makes sense. It really does. I gotta stop. I'm not gonna interrupt. You may feel that you have taken such a journey by choice, yet you have taken this wise challenge on from deep within your soul. Your innermost being has evoked this situation in your life with the intention that you grow in power, wisdom, and creative juice. It also wants you to experience a bold and fearless trust in life and become further empowered to live it with zest and courage. 
my goodness. The oracle of diving for light speaks of a time when you are called into darkness through life circumstances, situations, relationship challenges, or inner struggles that defy clear understanding. That darkness might be a creative block, a sense of being in a void of void or feelings of depression, rage, sadness, fear, or anxiety. There may or may not be an obvious cause. The darkness might be generally accepted and socially acknowledged because there is a socially acceptable or obvious reason for it, such as a death, divorce, or retrenchment. However, there are many there however there may be no obvious justification for your experience of darkness. You might not need a reason to be able to accept it. Likewise, you may struggle to find an unconditional acceptance of your experience. Just know that you are actually on track and right where you need to be. This is so perfect. <clears throat> when diving for light, one must be willing to bear the darkness and understand it has a pur purpose. Much like winter does upon the earth, it is not an error or through lack of consciousness that you are here now. It is a testament to your spiritual growth and creative process, not a sign that they are lacking or stalling. The healing process below will help you with your inward plunging and to successfully navigate it. This oracle brings particular guidance that although you are powerful, you are also vulnerable at this time. You need to be able... You need to be alert to sabotage and criticism that may make your progress more difficult than it already is. This card is absolutely perfect. That would not <clears throat> that would be rather unnecessary. At least some of the people around you might be more attached to their fear and doubt than in their faith in your process and the ways of the creative rebellious spiritual path that asks us to trust unconditionally. They may be frightened due to a lack of understanding. You don't need to carry their fear for them. You have your own process to attend to, and they can choose to be inspired by your journey or frightened by it. They are free to respond as they wish, and whatever their responses are, they are part of their journey for them to work through. You also need to be vigilant against the darker forces within you. These are the voices that you may not expect, particularly if you are pure-hearted if you are a pure-hearted being who typically resonates with love, that's who she is, these voices or feelings might surprise you with their dark intensity. They may be feelings of hate, terror, or wanting only to sleep because anything further is all just too hard. They may contain vicious criticism of yourself or tell you that your inner creative work is pointless, unoriginal, not worth it, or stupid. These dark forces might try to tell you that you are on the wrong path, suggest that you will fail, or ask with great condensation, who the hell do you think you are? You must stay in your heart and not believe these dark forces. Stay in compassion. Fear creates the energy of anger, hate, and destructiveness. These forces are part of life. We don't have to be frightened of them, nor do we need to deny their existence or try to ignore them in order to find light in the darkness. We just need to hold compassion and be intelligently aware so we can avoid being seduced into the trap of needing to prove ourselves. It makes so much sense. Remember what I was telling you about this card? <sighs> it, is, it is too easy to get caught up in, the trying, in trying to heal the dark. Darkness just is. Recognize it when, it when it is there and be in your compassionate heart. All you need to do is make a choice. Will you stay in your heart? Or will you be seduced by darkness and overcome it by hate or sleepiness? Diving for light is a spiritual test and a threshold for all true creative work. We successfully, we successfully navigate our way through this test and pass the threshold into new creative birth by staying connected to the light of compassion in our own hearts. It is not an easy test but it is one that you must be ready for. Otherwise, it wouldn't be coming to you now. Just remember, it is the light of the heart that sustains. It exists within us always, even in the darkest depths of unknown terrain. 
This oracle also comes with a special message. There is a darkness within or around you that could be prob problematic if left unchecked. If for no particular reason you find yourself feeling angry, irritated, hopeless, or tired more easily than usual, unable to rest, or it's just too much of effort to exercise or take care of yourself, then this darkness is having an unnecessarily effect, unnecessary effect on you. It is time to end that now from a place of compassion. The healing process will empower you for this task. Don't be afraid. You are learning this lesson and the unending power of compassion because you are ready for it. Feel honored by the lesson and stay humbly centered in your powerful, rebellious heart that refuses to be conquered by fear and remains faithful to love. All will be well. <laughs> it's a perfect card. For those of you that know your worth, in other words, there's a new offer coming in. If you've been going through a period of darkness and you want this new offer, you need to check yourself. Are you, are you, are you living in that state of love? Are you living in that state of light? Or are you living in that state of darkness? Yesterday's daily vibes was darkness becomes light. These re and the one before that, I can't remember what the name of it was, but the last three readings are, are falling right together daily vibes it's all it's all just you know they're they're going right down the line they're all they all just are going right in order so um for those of you there is a new offer coming in because you see the light talk to you later